Will Bragg batted through all but four balls of the last day of the LV County Championship match in Cardiff to earn his Glamorgan side a very hard-fought draw with Worcestershire, who were denied their third win from four games. That looked unlikely after they made the ideal start of the last day. Night watchman Dean Koska was out to the fourth ball. Gareth Andrews striking for the seventh time in the match with a catch behind. Seven overs later, a full-length delivery from Jack Shantry had Gareth Rees heading back to the pavilion after he was given out LBW. And six overs after that, Shantry struck again as Murray Goodwin was somehow bowled around his legs for seven. Glamorgan had been set a target of 382 to win in 102 overs and after 19 they found themselves on 38 for four and they were staring defeat straight in the face. But with Bragg blocking out one ball after the next and Stuart Walters also holding his end up, striking the occasional four in the process, the home side was still four down when lunch arrived. Said Ajmal, the danger man, going through the morning session wicketless. It didn't take the Pakistani spinner long to break through after the break, however. Walters turning a ball to Ross Whiteley, who held on well at leg slip, to reduce Glamorgan to 90 for 5. They had never even considered chasing down their target and what had been a difficult pitch to score runs on, unless your name was Daryl Mitchell. This was a rare boundary from Bragg, who was defending manfully. For 13 overs, he was at the crease with Jim Allenby, as this pair added 29 more runs. Really, though, the only figure that mattered was the amount of overs remaining. There were 51 left when Allenby tried to whip Charlie Morris to leg, but was bowled. Now Glamorgan were back in trouble on 119 for six. Another wicket now, and they would have just about been home and hosed. But instead, Worcestershire were made to wait 41 overs for their next success, as the game began to slip away from them. Bragg was simply magnificent with this back to the wall approach. He was still going as the last session got underway with his side needing to survive for another 33 overs. He passed a 50 off 185 deliveries, one that's likely to be amongst the slowest of his career. That of course wasn't important. He was still battling on just as Mitchell had twice done in this match. It took great powers of concentration and a strong technique to keep going for so long and he would have been delighted to finally find the support he needed in the form of Mark Wallace. Over after over passed by, and Worcestershire could feel again that they'd been in charge of throughout, slipping away from them. No real chances were offered by these two batsmen, who were helping their side save a game at the very end for the second home match in a row, having done something similar to Gloucestershire. Eight overs remained after a brief break for rain when Ajmal finally got the wicket his side had been waiting for for so long. Wallace LBW for a 47, which had used up nearly two hours of this important day. So three more wickets were now wanted, but Graham Wagg and Bragg gave nothing away, with the latter ending on a memorable 91, which had come off 285 deliveries in nearly six hours. It was arguably his best innings for the club. The Morgan ended on 229 for 7 to take 8 points from the game while Worcestershire had to settle for just one more in a match they controlled for the most part. Mitchell was on the pitch for every minute of this contest. Those points were still enough to keep his side on top of the second division table. They now miss the next round of games while Glamorgan head to the Aegeus Bowl on Sunday to take on Hampshire.